Welcome to the official APT Manila podcast. I'm your host, Alicia Lee, and joining me today are your commentators, Gina Rufino and Rodney Hall. You guys can see back there, there's a lot of poker action going on as the Asia Pacific Poker Tour is finally here. Happy to be here. Hey, Rodney. Uh, good evening, Alicia. Had time to have a look around or been stuck in the hotel so far? Pretty much in the hotel, but it's a beautiful hotel, so I don't mind. Still plenty of time. Yes. It's been great fun here this afternoon. We've been playing some satellites with a view to getting into the main event as the big prize. Very exciting. Very exciting indeed. Okay, good evening. We're here at the Dusatani, the fabulous Dusatani in Manila for the first leg of the Manila Asia Poker Tour. And we have some of our, I was going to say, lucky satellite winners with seats for the main event. But of course, as we know, luck doesn't come into it. Well, since it was a strategy, it was pretty much a wait and see, get get good cards and play to play it to the maximum. Yeah, I noticed that you, you got a fairly big stack early on and you were protecting that as if your life depended on it towards the end there. Well, my tournament life. Your tournament life depended yeah. on it. This satellite here was very exciting for me because I didn't plan to play. I uh, actually am from Thailand okay. and I bring people to play, but I got in and I got some cards and I got to the final and it worked very well. What do you mean? Ganado ka ba na mananalo ka or parang medyo ilang ka? Uh, Noon na, I played to enjoy the game. Okay. Uh, I'm just lucky enough that I had 10 to 12 ace kings that all were <laughs> paid. <laughs> 10 to 12 yes, East 10 Kings. To 12. Just ask Marco. Huh? I'm with two players that are playing in the main event, Mark. How are you guys? Uh, fine, I'm fine. What's your name? Boris Ruchi. And you're? Mathieu. Are you excited? Are you happy? Yeah, very, very, very happy. I'm, I'm watching uh, the start of the tournament. Okay. Here I am with poker professional Evelyn Eng. How are you today? I'm good. <laughs> so, let me ask you. I know you're very well known back in the States. What were you doing before you became a poker professional? Uh, well, I actually started in poker because I used to be a poker dealer. And oh, that's how okay. I learned how to play. Do you have any like rituals, lucky charms? No, you know, I'm actually not superstitious at all. I'm not? No. <laughs> so no like, special anything to prepare you for the game? No, I mean, the way I prepare is just trying to maybe not believe in superstition and just try to keep level-headed. So you're asking me for the fearless prediction? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go for recent form. I'm going to go for Brandon Cantu, winner of a WP tournament last week, million dollars in the United States, and uh, Steve Sung, runner-up in the same event. I, I like the local. Since we're in the Philippines, I'm putting my bets on some Filipinos. I'm, I'm thinking, I think Neil Arce would do pre pretty well. I think Alan Escanya would do pretty well. And I think I would do pretty well too. I was going to ask you whether you were excluding yourself. I see you're not. Very good. I think we'll see him at the final table, don't Thank you? You reckon? I hope so. I hope you're so. welcome. Well, we have a great tournament here tonight, so we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you.